Okay. Hi, everyone. What I was going to do is... Well, hold on. I didn't... I just did it this way. I have... Can we see that? My Aberdeen Wool Company mystery bags. So I thought is that I open up and share it with you. This took a long time. It did come from Canada, but I'm excited. Um, I'm always going to kind of give everybody credit that's encouraged me to maybe get something or do something. And this was I was watching Juan the Yarn Addict, uh, and he's saying he was ordering it and told about it. So I went ahead. And I thought, well, I have never done a mystery box or bag. So I thought, why not? We're going to try try it and see how well I like it. I've ordered yarn from different companies that uh, some of the other YouTubers I watch. Bag a Day, Crystal, and uh, let's see, I'm just going to doesn't really tell you here this is where I ordered it from if you want to go check the company out and I got two of them so I'm going to get them out of the bag and lay them on the table and let's see what they were and I'm trying to remember exactly everything it said I think there's supposed to be full projects in these which is one of the reasons I thought it'd be kind of unique to do not just different yarns did anybody catch Juan's live stream last night? I had to go off and on because, um, well, just because of things, you know, happen. And this is more information about the company and if you want to follow them. And it looks like I have a pattern for a hat, shanty hat. It gives you all the instructions. And then this one, it's a head wrap and cowl, which I think would be fun to do. And then, let's see. Oh, yeah, I think I'd like to try this. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, and I apologize. And then it's the instructions of different ways you can wear it once it's made. Okay, so, I don't think I have yarn for every one of those projects but I guess I can make oh I like this yarn okay so the first one is a sock indulgence it's a one oops upside down sorry guys it's a one now I've worked with two weight but it will be interesting I'm not being very good I'm sorry it's a one, it's a two weight, but I do love the colors. So I will be trying to do something with this one. And it has, let's see, where's the yardage? 459 yards or 420 meters. All right, but I think that's pretty. And then again, this is the name of it. And, oh, I like the way this feels. Okay. I'll sit here and touch the yarn. All right. And this one's 50 yards. It's made in Italy. 35 nylon. 35 acrylic. 30% wool. Use a US 13. So. Um, a bulky. Ooh, I like that. And they gave me four of those. And here, oh, this is soft too. I do like the yarn. Okay, let me see if I can find the information on this one. Okay, here we go. This one's 70% nylon, 30% viscose, 77 yards. Let's see, use a nine. Let me see if I can get, and I know a lot of their um, weights are done as far as the fluffies 
I mean the down to the underneath that of course feels small but this would be pretty added with something I think it would like extra okay so that's the first mystery bag I do like the colors if I had to be surprised about something I am glad they're colors that I like so let's see if then this one is a different set of yarn like I said I've never done this before but I thought it would be fun okay I see some similar colors where's the pattern there it is okay let me get this out of the way so the projects are a lot sorry about the Sun oh I like that hat and always like a good scarf so it's a Moroccan cow okay and then let's see what are these this is one pattern I'm sorry everyone okay oh a crocheted grocery bag okay I like that I do like that and then it gives the directions for that and we'll try to block that sun all of a sudden wanted to come in I do like that and I have never tried socks if you have let me know how easy or hard that is <laughs> whether or not oh juggling paper whether or not that's something I want to give it a try toe up socks okay to crochet yeah I, I was taught at a young age to crochet and knit but my knitting looks horrible for about four or five rows and there's no fixing that okay so this is a super sock silk color oh my gosh say that three times fast when it's um 440 400 meters and i believe that means it's just a little bit over 400 some odd yards if i have that correct i tell you what if that patterns were different sizes my granddaughter would love these but she's young so i don't know if i can figure out how to do that for her age okay so here are some hanks now I'm going to apologize if I ever used a wrong word to describe a yarn. I'm sorry. This is 68% polyamide, 20% acrylic, and wait a minute, where are you? Mohair, 12% mohair, 110 yards. I know some people that like red, so that would they probably would enjoy that. And I have three. Of those and then one more Hank cotton DK Burrico all right 335 yards the color is this wrong I guess it's just that number okay so this is whoops Pima cotton, 60%. Sorry, I don't have a good camera holder and it's being wobbly. Then the 40% rayon. And then suggested hook. It's a three and a quarter of a millimeter. It's a weight, three weight. I do like a three weight. It's a little bit hard sometimes, but I do like the way it feels. I'm making a blanket now with that. Okay, so that's the other yarn. I have to say, let me get my scissors out of the way. That doesn't look attractive. I kind of, this is the one. I like those. I like all the colors. I'm not big on red, but I'm not against red. And then this one I do like. I like the earth tones. And that's going to be interesting to see in the directions of which ones they're pairing with that project and I do love this color it's a one that might be an experience but I could see that being maybe you can combine those would you do that no I don't think I would because of the bright purple but anyway there is the second one okay what do you guys think about 
these two mystery bags. Well, thank you for watching, and I will hopefully talk to you later.